Okay, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, who are you? Uh, my name is Mr. Taufi Isiko. I'm from the Africa Roots Movement and it's a Pan-African organization. We deal with issues that affect people of African descent. So wherever there is injustice, we're there. And wherever, wherever there is justice, we're also there. So we are very active within our community and in making sure that the African culture and tradition is kept intact. And so we have numerous uh, uh, activities and objectives, but our main purpose is for the benefit of people of African descent and to bring our people of African descent together. That's our, benefit, that's our main goal. Yeah. And uh, I'm here today at the Shell headquarters. And today is on the 8th of November 2019, but uh, because we are commemorating the uh, execution or the murder of the Ogoni Nai because of uh, shell uh, action in Ogoni land. It's on the 10th, which is going to be Sunday, but we are here because we know that the shell company office is open. That was why we chose the date on the 8th instead of on the 10th, because 10 is Sunday and we know they will not be in the office. So we are here to show that what shell is doing and what they've done and what they probably might do in the future is not right because it's just based on corporate greed, nothing more, nothing less. They don't care about human life, so it's extreme and brutal capitalism. Yeah. That was why we are here to show the world that what Shell is doing, or what they've done, and what they are about to do probably, is not acceptable. And right now, people should know that there are court cases. We hear from some of these uh, speakers, we mentioned that when Kensaruwa was in the court, uh, during the trial, he said, we are on trial, but at the court, he said Shell is on trial. Mm -hmm. And today, we can see that Shell is really on trial. Because why? There is a court case filed by the widows of the Ogoni Nine, and this court case is presently in Dutch court, and then we are awaiting the judgment and the result of the court. And we will keep people posted and uh, about uh, what is going to happen. We ask people to join the course because it's not for we alone, but it's for the future of our children unborn. And then that is why we believe that we are doing the right thing, not the wrong thing. Okay, one question. Uh, uh, we're here because, uh, uh, like we uh, chanted, Shell must fall. Uh, what is your vision for uh, after Shell has fallen, uh, the future? Uh, I think I made mention of uh, something like that in my speech. Uh, we can chant, Shell must fall. And when Shell falls, what happens? Yeah. The principle continues. It's the spirit that must fall. The spirit is greed. The spirit is corporate profit, profit over human life. That is what is more important. Shell can fall, the same people who own Shell will transform into another company. Tomorrow they can declare Shell bankrupt. They can declare that Shell is no more on paper. And at the same time, the money and the principle of exploitation of indigenous people will continue. So we must say greed must fall, corporate greed must fall, capitalism must fall. That is just it. Okay, and but, but what then? Then live uh, with uh, indigenous values, or what? What is your view um, on that? When when we talk about indigenous values, or from my own point of view, that uh, what is indigenous? When you say indigenous, you're talking about what is important is living with nature. Plant have the right, the tree have the right, the mountain have the right to live. Everything on earth has the right to live. That is why our principle is Ubuntu. I am because we are. <laughs> if the plants and the animals and the sea are not there, we will not live. So we have to make sure that there is a symbol. We, we, we must live side by side with the, with the environment. And that is why it is important. So the indigenous people, they don't have cars, they don't have mansion, they are not, and they are living with the earth for thousands of years. But now, the so-called modern man, has now exploited, degraded the earth, and that's why we are. So the, 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 the greed is creating debt for the future. So it's not as if maybe there is something special that the indigenous people are archaic or the so-called modern people are better. No, we have to live with nature because without them, we can't survive. That's, that's it.
<laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.